So JD and the guys are hanging around Octane the other night. 6v6, kill confirmed, Call of Duty Ghosts, PlayStation 4 gameplay. And we head over to Pinky's, the nudie bar. And, you know, I'm sitting down. It's, you know, strip clubs really aren't my atmosphere. The guys are off having a good time, throwing dollar bills around. Omen is drunk. D-Rock is throwing dollar bills like it's nothing. You know, we're off having a good time. JD's sitting at the bar. He tells the barkeep, hey, barkeep, pop open a nice cold beverage for me and make sure it's a Guinness, will you? Extra cold. Reach at the bottom in that bin. Make sure it's ice cold. So JD gets his Guinness. He's taking a sip. He looks over at the opposite side of the bar and he sees this beautiful stripper who works at Pinky's. Her name is Cinnamon. He goes up to Cinnamon with beverage in his hand. Hey, honey, what do I got to do to take you home tonight? She's like, well, listen, I'm going home for the night. If you want to come back on Sunday night, which is our slow night, I'll give you a three-hour personal VIP experience. No charge. On the house. I'm like, oh yeah, what did I do to, uh, to deserve a on-the-house VIP experience? She's like, don't worry about it. Cinnamon takes care of all her clients. I'm like, okay, no problem. So here I am in pinkies. 6v6, like I said, kill confirmed. And let me tell you something. Cinnamon had jugs the size of the Rocky Mountains themselves. Yeah, you guys ever see that Married with Children episode where Al and Jefferson are sitting at the nudie bar and out comes Rocky Mountains... Her fucking jugs are fucking enormous. I can't even explain to you. You would have to watch the episode to understand what I'm talking about. Married with Children, one of the best shows ever. Period. There's no other show that will duplicate what Married with Children did. But enough of the joking around. Hope you enjoyed my little tale. Obviously, kill confirmed, guys. What I want to talk about is Octane. Octane, Pinkies, you got the diner, you got the pawn shop, you got the fucking garage. What is with the scrubs that want to sit on the top level of pinkies and just camp. They'll sit out looking at the window with a tracker sight, looking for that fucking hand job that they know is not coming because they're nothing but virgin degens. Perverted degens. That's all they are. But that's not even what I want to talk about. You know, Mr. Soldier exploited this map perfectly. And what I want to talk about is how bad the fucking map design is. And look at this exactly what I want to talk about. Too hot to drop. Look at him. Sitting on top of the fucking diner because the diner that morning ran out of cream cheese for his bagel and he needed to take his anger and frustration out on me. Poor guy, right? Poor guy. But anyway, Mr. Soldier does I camp to win and he exploited this map perfectly. The diner connected to the pawn shop is the biggest power point on this map. It is an exploit in the map and Octane has terrible map design the flow is garbage okay he sat up there and i know he doesn't play that way but he's doing it to show you how bad the map is it's a fucking exploit he sat up there with ieds he sat up there with ims's he sat up there with sentry guns and he went 30 and 0 now if that doesn't tell you how bad of a fucking exploit that is i don't know what to tell you infinity ward developed these maps Pretty much in their sleep. They didn't do anything. It lacks creativity. The flow is just not there. People either camp on the diner, they camp in the strip club, they camp in the motel to my left here, or they camp in the garage. Leaning, camping, head glitching, you name it, it's done. And it's all done with IEDs, tracker sites, snipers, all the biggest exploits in Call of Duty history. And this is why I want to talk about this, because it's... It's just one of those maps that I want to love to play. The size of the map is perfect. The size of the map is what I look for when I think of a classic Call of Duty sized map. Same thing with Warhawk, same thing with Strike Zone. Those are the kind of maps that I like, you know, but they just don't play well because of the way Infinity Ward designed them. They cater and take care and pamper the garbage player. Just like Soldier sold you in, uh, in I Camp to Win. You sit up there, and you and if you you got your back covered, it's a done deal. Nobody is touching you. Nobody's going to get to you. It's over. You know, you, you might as well go undefeated like he did. It's just terrible. And I want to love this map, but I just can't. But, you know, the thing is, and the thing that questions me is, when Infinity Ward develops these maps, I don't understand why they don't put themselves in the player's shoes. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they play the game. Oh, I hope that they play the game. 
But if they're playing the game, why don't they develop the map to the point where they would enjoy playing it as well? You're telling me that they enjoy being killed by fucking people sitting on top of a diner using that as a cheap exploit? And by the way, before I go on, this pisses me off as well. When I run out of gun, when I run out of ammo, and I gotta pick up a gun off the ground, and I pick up a Honey Badger Custom, I'm like, okay, I'll pick up a Honey Badger, it's my favorite gun in the game. And then I see some scrub having a target site on it, or a tracker site, that just pisses me off. Like, why do you need to put a tracker site on a Honey Badger? Now, obviously, I switched to the integrated iron sights because I think it just makes the gun a little bit better. The tracker sight obscures my vision. I don't like using it. It's so noob that it just sickens me to the point where I don't want to use it. But that pisses me off that I got to pick up a gun utilized by a scrub player, and he's got some bullshit on it like that. ACOG, tracker sight. Listen, I don't like the iron sights. I utilize just a simple red dot. It gives me the accuracy needed to utilize the gun to its best ability. And when you see a tracker sight on that, you go, you just know. You just know he's a garbage player. But, like I said, the map design on Octane is poor. Uh, it just lacks creativity. The four power points on this map pretty much just ruin the experience of this map. And I, I just hate it. I want to love it, like I said, because of the size. But I can't do it. And Soldier exported this map perfectly to show you why this map just sucks as far as design goes. You see, you sit on top of the diner, you sit on top of the of the garage, the strip club, and the hotel, and boom, you're on a 20 streak. You you know you're going for that KEM, you're going for a Loki, you're going for a Helo pilot, whatever, and you get killed one off because of some scrub camping on top of a fucking ledge, leaning, head glitching, sniping, whatever. It, it's just bad. It's just a bad experience, and, and that's why nobody can really enjoy Octane to the fullest. And look at this. Look at this. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Mark Rubin. I come into the diner because I wanted a cup of coffee, and then all of a sudden, Tina fucks me with her spawns. That guy really just spawned out of nowhere right there I was, as I was entering the diner, and I got killed. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Mark Rubin. But as you see, there's going to be another guy just fucking roaming around the back of this diner here. He was upset because uh, they didn't have any fucking uh, sugar for his coffee, and he was throwing a temper tantrum at the fucking bar. Look at this clown. He's right over here somewhere. There he is. Look, boom, look at that. He was rushing at me. Oh, I'm angry. I don't have my coffee this morning. Well, too bad, motherfucker. I'm here. I have my coffee. I don't need to hear your complaints. Plain and simple. Well, that's that, guys. Uh, I also want to talk about my brother. My brother's band, Legionary. They are doing an EP, another album, four songs in total. I was actually in the recording studio with him. And look at this fucking clown. Leaning. What did I just tell you? Leaning on top of the pawn shop to get a cheap kill. He don't give a fuck about collecting a tag. What is he going to do when he kills that guy and he sees that gold tag floating around? He ain't going to move forward. He ain't going to come off there. He's going to continue to camp there like the little bitch that he is. But anyway, my brother, I was actually in the recording studio with him. He actually tracked rhythm guitar for one song, which will be an intro to the upcoming EP. And you guys got to listen to this. I can't wait to unveil it to you guys. Legionary is played at the beginning of every video that I do. And uh, I'm proud to show their music off to everybody because I just love heavy metal in general. I love heavy metal with feeling. I love heavy metal when it's properly written and it's got passion behind it and it's got just all this feeling behind it. And that's what my brother's music tries to do. And I'm proud to see him work and be a perfectionist at his craft. You know, he is my brother. I love him, obviously. But watching him in a business atmosphere and the way he works, he's the kind of guy that you want as a bandmate. He's the kind of guy you want to do business with because he knows what's right. He's got a steady head on his shoulders and I can't wait to show you guys this music. It's going to be unbelievable. He's got two amazing guitarists coming in. He's got his regular guitarist, Rory, and he's got his part-time guitarist, uh, Tony, who worked on the last uh, Arcane Divisions album. Unbelievable talents. Wait till you guys see what they have in store for everybody. I can't wait to do a video on it. I'm going to do a documentation on um, the, just the whole recording process. So look forward to that. And that's all I pretty much wanted to talk about, guys. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay commentary. 32 and 6, Octane Kill confirmed with my guys. Uh, pinkies, listen, let's all go to Pinkies and have some nice cold beverages. Enjoy the beautiful women. Let's do it, guys, all right? Hope you enjoyed this gameplay commentary. Like, share, favorite, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Fucking Call of Duty Ghost, man. 10-minute fucking uploads. I got to talk over 10-minute gameplay because everybody wants to be a little bitch. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.
and I'll talk to you guys later.